So you've got this nirvana that most organizations have been trying to get to with these planning solutions for decades and decades, where IT are really happy because they've got a, a very robust IT security governed solution, but then it's got the flexibility and the capability to be built and managed and monitored within the business or within the business community. When people mention planning, there's many types of different planning in many different departments. So whether that's your five-year strategic plan, your annual budget, quarterly forecast, monthly rolling forecast, weekly sales forecasts, whether it's just purely focusing in a particular department on a particular activity, or wholly across the organization and across the enterprise. You've had two waves of different types of planning solutions coming onto the marketplace. They took those manual processes that were done on a piece of paper and with a pencil or within Excel and accelerated the timelines on those and accuracy and so on. But then obviously technology moves along, the cloud became more of a thing and some solutions were developed specifically around the cloud or this sort of hybrid environment as well. So you've got solutions such as Adaptive and Host and Plan4 which then brought the cloud computing arena to planning and forecasting. What we're now seeing is really what I call the third wave of planning and forecasting solutions. And that's really been headed up by this idea of having this open architecture, building things out on standard technologies that a lot of people understand. Power BI is an easy tool for most companies. Your analysts already know and understand Excel. Since it's on the Microsoft platform, it's something that they're familiar with. It's also easy to install. There are a number of API tools, and so the implementation is fairly simple. Now, adding the planning to it means that we can now write back to those same databases and you get better performance. In most organizations, there's many different planning and forecasting solutions, whether it's in finance, in inventory, stock control, logistics, operations, sales, marketing, and so on and so forth. And trying to bring all of those things together built on disparate technologies is, is a little bit of a nightmare. And really what you're able to do with Power BI and the Microsoft data stack is bring that all within one infrastructure roadmap and then leverage Power BI both for reporting and analytics and business intelligence, but also for that planning and forecasting. Forecasting is usually used for financial reporting, but we can take that and operationalize it. We can compare your sales tool to your CRM, allowing your sales team to quickly analyze their new opportunities to their forecasting requirements. You can also take your expense forecast and compare that to your PO tool, alleviating or removing a level of approval because it's already in the forecast. It allows you to make business decisions when the action is actually happening instead of afterwards once the financials are already baked. A single version truth is something that most organizations are trying to get to, whether it's on the reporting and analysis side or even on the planning and forecasting side. With the latest and the third wave of planning solutions based upon Microsoft technologies and Power BI, you're able to actually genuinely have that single version of truth. All of your operational, all of your sales, all of your finance data in a single place to do whatever type of planning and forecasting you want to. Here at Collective, we are experts both on reporting and analytics but also planning and forecasting. So if Power BI is your path for reporting and analytics, you really should look at it for planning and forecasting processes within your organization and we're here to help.